Hey there, everyone. So one of the topics we're going to be going through is dogs, okay? Uh, and dogs actually saving lives. How? Well, they can actually detect diseases. We'll go in more depth about this in the live lessons that we're going to, um, to be doing. But one thing that dogs have is a more developed um, section of the, um, of the how, how you sense smell, okay? Um, is to do with the cortex over here, but there is something called a bulb, which also plays a part of it. We're going to look at all the different parts of smell, but what dogs have is around about 10 to 100,000 times um, more intense smell than human beings. And how does this help you detect diseases? So when we're talking about diseases, we're talking about COVID, cancer, um, um, Parkinson's disease. All of this is to do with releasing a certain type of chemical, okay, depending on the disease. These dogs can even detect um, malaria, things like that, more rapidly than a blood test could do it in some cases. And this is all to do with their um, the way they smell. So dogs have around about 300 million um, neuron receptors. So re um, receptors are what pick up the scent and the neurons then take that signal to the brain, blah, blah, blah. We're going to be looking at different parts of the brain. Um, so they got 300. How much does human beings have? Only 6 million. So you can see how intense um, the dogs are. And when you're ill, when you have a certain type of disease, you release a certain type of chemical. We're going to be looking at all the different types of chemicals that are released, and the dogs simply pick up on this. So if you want to learn more about dogs, um, health and fitness, how the body works, please come along to my live lessons. It's also um, got recorded content, which I'll later upload. Take care. Hope you have a nice day, and bye-bye.